Good morning. So I have been working on making these glazes and I have this glaze called Oxblood that I finished making and it it runs a lot. It's super, super runny. So I dipped a little bit. I dipped down to like here and I wanted to see what it would do with some other colors that I have. So it did this with my emerald. It's kind of interesting, but not a lot of vibrant surface variation that I like. Um, this was with my white. And so that's kind of pretty. Um, I like this one. It's kind of like a nice light color. This is with a light runny blue that I have. It's super runny, so I have to be extra careful. Um, this one is with a matte glaze that I have. Oops, there's a clay thumbprint on it. Um, and it's really, really pretty, but again, it's really, really runny. So I gotta think about how I'm gonna apply it. Now this one is the one that I am the most excited about because it ended up with some metallics. So I am concerned about the metallics being food safe, so I was planning on only using the metallic on the exterior. And so this one, I'm not going to tell you what the glaze is that I use with it because it's my secret. But it's really cool. Um, it is also really runny, but look at that chrome that developed. So I definitely don't think that, that would be something I'd want to put on the inside of a food safe vessel. But on the outside, lower where the mouth doesn't touch, I think would be really fun. So if I have my regular up high and my chrome lower, this will be what touches the food <clears throat> or the mouth. And then the interior, um, I was thinking about doing it with a white liner and it would just touch the top of where this kind of color is and so I'd get some running on the inside but it would be with the white and this one I don't have any concerns about food safety this one I definitely am concerned about but the color that this one's mixed with is gonna be a little surprising so I'm gonna try I'm gonna make a larger batch because I only made a hundred grams of this color that's gonna do all these effects and then I'm almost out of the other color that I use for this. So I have to make two glazes today. Um, but yeah, so ran my test tiles. Very pleased with some of the results. Some of them I'm like, meh. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started. Yay, glaze time!